Hey guys and girls, I am back again with another top 10. This time it's the biggest blunders that NetEase have done since launch. And you know me, let's get to it. Let's start with the most recent blunder, the salvager, or as I call it, the tractor beam. But that's not really true either, since it does not pull anything towards you. This device that you put on mid slot is basically auto looting your Rex that is close enough. The name salvager might sound like it's reprocessing the items that you loot, but it's not. It's just a very short auto looter, way less of an item that we expected. The Frighter event. Lack of preparations made this a big setback. Big streamers who was supposed to promote the game to their own followers didn't prepare or had the chance to prepare enough to make this a good time for the viewers. Weird and uneventful situations with no too slim chance to be a part of this was not helping either. Bugged drops and an awkward silence followed for these hardworking streamers. The scan event, three times is not even close to good enough for a Christmas and New Year event. We got the event and we thought we was going to scan as much as we liked. It ended up with three scans during the whole period. If you wanted to scan more, you had to pay ISK or real money to do so. The scan event took about 20 minutes to do, so giving us an event that took less than an hour was very very cheap. Insurance. This abomination of a thing started to starve the game and the game is still hungry today. And what can I say? A very bad thing about this, except killing the market, is the difficult way to change or remove this now. People are used to get back their ships quick and easy and any change here will make a lot of people angry, especially new players who might rely on this since making ISK is so hard today. Capital ships. They might look too expensive, but what's even worse is all the resources and the time that could have been in better use to fix other stuff. All the time that they put on the capital ships could have been used to fix many basic things in the game, such as black screens, life improvements, and even implement some other useful items. Thanks to the capitals, we are at least four months behind in any updates that we are asking for. Morphite. Morphite is a mineral that comes from Arknor and Mercoxid. We don't really use this mineral. Can you mention anything that uses this in even a moderate amount? You can't, right? Nolsec has access to this beautiful mineral and should make Nolsec mining a real gold mine. But the value is less than many others today. And that is because we still see no major use of this ore. And until we can fully use this mineral, this value will not go up. Friders. The lack of uses of this ship make them a hard investment, unless you live in Nolsec and have to move major stuff due to Nolsec relocation. Heisek basically has no use for them, not even I actually need one, even though I want one. But 13 billion is a lot of money for just hauling now and then. Jammer bonuses. This is when a ship can totally make another ship unable to lock or lose its lock for a period of time. This item still ain't in the game. Ships like the Scorpion and the Blackbird have these skills even today. This makes them a lot worse than other ships in their class. The Scorpion is basically a worse raven. And we still have no idea when these yammers will arrive. Isaac Islands. Now don't hate. Because the reason is not that it's a quick, fast, easy isk. The reason for this to be here is something else. Something you might have not thought about. High seg islands are areas that are blue, green and yellow. Blue being 1.0 and yellow being 04. But the access to them are blocked by low sec or a no sec. In EVE Online it's somewhat a challenge to establish yourself there with some ships and even stations. But in EVE Echoes they remove the danger of the low sec. So the islands are not really islands, since you can pass there safely. 
This takes away the whole feeling of being safe but surrounded by terror. Before we check the last one, make sure to check my other top 10s as well as my podcasts and entertainment videos. I'm also very deep in making this game improve to an even better EVE Echoes. So subscribe and like my videos if your champion wants to help me reach out to more people. Jianjiang. This ship has still not been introduced and now over a year has passed in EVE Echoes. The people who put skills into this battleship basically had to remove them or still have them unusable. This was a cool and fresh ship for players that came from EVE Online, but since the lack of new information about this ship and no faction drops for them made them something just a few people play today. We are told we are gonna get this ship, but making people skill for this ship and pay with Plex to remove it was not very thought through. And I'll see you guys again.